Hello and welcome to another episode of the Pen Fan series. On this amazing series on the Applebone YouTube channel, we ask pen fans three questions about pens. Um, on this specific episode, we have a really unique guest. You have already seen him on the top three pen series, which we also did. Um, it is Amy from Pen Venture. And Amy, welcome on this episode. I have three questions for you, so let's start right away. The first question is, how did you get into fountain pens? Well, this is a long story, but I'm going to make it a little bit more short. So I basically wrote with a fountain pen from first grade until eighth grade. So right around when I went to high school, let's just say I was not using the fountain pen as much as I used to do. But also in high school, I went to uh, architecture uh, section. So we did a lot of drawing and I was basically surrounded by writing instruments. If I was slacking in high school, when I started in college, I uh, was introduced to a fountain pen by a chance uh, for this one right here, which is a waterman. Uh, and this is the one that I've used into my college years. When I finished, I started uh, working uh, normal hours for uh, the company of my father. And um, fast forward, I believe two or three years till uh, since then, I was one day at the office and I stumbled upon a video on YouTube about a person who is writing uh, in a very beautiful calligraphic way. And I said, hmm, I think I can write just as good as that person, but I don't have a pen. And that was the moment that I said, hmm, let me go online and find a pen. So from that point, I studied a little bit and I got myself a Pilot Justice 52, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that was the first pen that started. From then, I seen a few Viscontis online, but I said in that moment, I would never ever in my life spend four, 500 euros on a pen. I mean, who's that crazy? Well, two weeks later, I had that Visconti. And then it started point by point, pen by pen. I stumbled upon the community. I stumbled upon shops like yours, Yoast, Apple Bomb, and my passion uh, only got stronger and stronger. I got into pens and then everything went into creating pen venture my store and everything and uh yeah look at us today 100 pounds in pens in my collection and uh, the most expensive one it's it's in upwards of 10,000 euros so yeah i did pay more than 400 euros for a pen which pen that you sold do you have the most special moments with hmm hmm this is a tricky question <laughs> I would say that the one that has a lot more story to it is one of my exclusive pens. And I do have it in a drawer right there. If you allow me one second to check my drawer, because I haven't prepared. As you can see, it's live, it's, it's dynamic. So I'm going to show you which is the pen that I have the most attachment to. And uh, that pen is actually two pens, are this one's right here. This is a pair of Leonardo Momento Zero Grande fountain pens. This is not a piston, and those are made in ebonite and urushi coated Akata Minuri and Midori Tamenuri. This is the first time that I was able to convince Salvatore from Leonardo of China Italiana to hand me one of his creations bare bone made in ebonite and i said leave that to me i'm gonna do a collection and i'm gonna prove you that this fountain pens are gonna be a very quick sell and also they are going to just simply change the way you are looking at making pants i did them and they were sold out in roughly around five to six hours from that moment so i went to him and i said i told you this is 
what I'm able to put together. So now you need to trust me more and I will produce more collections that it's going to behave just like that. So that was the starting point of our trust and the bridge was done. And from then it went a lot more interesting. And a lot of people know that. What is your top tip for someone that is using Founder Pens? Hmm. Top tip. Let's see. I know that a lot of people which are watching right now are both in this uh, community of ours. Some of them may use writing instruments which are more expensive or less expensive. And my universal tip to them is not to proceed in a rush to get the very next pen because we all know that the best pen is not the one that you have already, is the one that you are gonna get. But I've seen that in many, many occurrences, this run is gonna tire you and it's gonna make you feel like you are not complete and you will never be complete in regards of a fountain pen collection. And this is coming from the guy who said he's never going to pay 400 euros for a pen and now has over 100 fountain pens in absurd amount of uh, value. But what I can tell you is that pace yourself. This is not a sprint. Look at collecting writing instruments like a marathon. Enjoy, collect a fountain pen, use it, see what you like about it, see what you don't like about it. Uh, get some time with it because you will observe that fountain pens are going to be splitting out in two areas, needs and wants. See if you just want a fountain pen or you need a fountain pen. And this is my tip to help you out in collecting fountain pens and to go about into this hobby. Thank you so much, Amy, for answering these three important questions. Uh, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to do that so you won't miss out on a video of our channel. And we see you on our next episode. Bye-bye.